Hello. Good morning. A very interesting and quite tasty morning it was already. And it's like 7.05 a.m. and I've been awake since uh, 4.15. And then got up and um, kind of kicked it around for a little bit and got into the kitchen and did some stuff this morning. <sighs> Coffee. And um, yeah, so Munchkin number one, otherwise known as Danielle, was uh, was up and getting some stuff done. And she came into uh, the kitchen and decided that she was going to experiment with a different kind of French toast. All right. So the way I normally make French toast is the classical style of French toast. It has cinnamon and vanilla and nutmeg and of course eggs and milk, a little bit of salt and you know, dredge it, slap it down, maple syrup, call it happy. Okay. She had a very creative thought. She said, what if I make a savory French toast? And I said, hmm, come on, girl, let's see what this is like. And what she did was she put the, uh, she put uh, paprika, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, I think that was it. I think that was it. But uh, she made a, with a little, um, with butter, uh, egg, and it might have been a pinch of milk. Not a lot. And she made savory French toast. It was freaking amazing. <laughs> it was absolutely free. It's like, yeah, I was going to have a keto day until uh, I tasted the edge just the edge of one of the slices of bread. <sighs> Very dangerous. If you want to see it, go to Chef Dad, Chef Kid, and check the reels or check the posts. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it, it, it's freaking dangerous. Now, the reason I said that for our morning meditation... So this morning, um, I was reading an article in the Epoch Times about uh, the, let's say, the controversy between 432 hertz and 440 hertz tuning to, uh, for musical instruments. Okay? Yes, I know. It's 7.05 when I started this video, and I was already reading that kind of stuff. That's just, that's me. But what's fascinating about this is um, there are certain mathematical formula that when, when you look at how something is tuned seems to provide a more perfect tuning for instruments and for classical music play. I'm not getting into all the controversy. I'm not getting into the scientists or the science because I am not a mathematician, nor am I an audiologist, nor am I anyone who understands that in any way, shape, or form. Okay? I'm not a psychologist, and I'm not a doctor, even though I play one on TV. The point is that the the article was interesting simply from the perspective of there are some people who have mathematical formula that they believe proves at 432 is a perfect tuning for the instruments. And other people say it's 440. And there's controversy around whether it was done for concert halls in the United States back in the 30s um, and for jazz musicians back in the 30s versus others from France, for example, or for example who wanted to maintain 432 instead of 440. And there's talk about Nazis and folks in London and there's giant conspiracies. Okay, here's my point. Genesis 1, 1 and through uh, 3. So 1, 2, and 3. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 
The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Okay. So before you say something, do you or do you not think it? If you say something, you must have the thought first. If you must have the thought first, then you can create something. And in point of fact, your creation has already existed in your thought before it was manifested even in speech. Dad Quote of the Day is a movement to get dads and kids more unified in their families. Dad supporting moms, mom supporting kids, kids supporting mom and dad, and celebrating what great dads are. Because if you scatter the shepherd, or if you kill the shepherd, then you can attack the lambs. And this is all about the kids. So, Chef Dad, Chef Kid is designed to get dads and kids cooking together. Cooking together to begin the conversation. Okay? And then you can take the food into the... Then you can take the food into the dining room or the family room, or wherever, and enjoy food together. Okay? Makes sense. It started as a thought. Because of things that we had gone through in our lives, and how we wanted to see, I don't know, the benefits of the things that we had discovered for ourselves, shared amongst people all over the world. Okay? Simple goal. It started as a thought. She created savory French toast. It was freaking amazing. All right? It started as a thought. So, have a thought, right? Danny. Yeah. Bobby, what the? Come here, honey. Coming. What do you mean, coming? Get over here. Get your butt over here now. Huh? I'm very confused. Don't be very confused. You're live on camera. Hi. This is the person who came up with savory French toast this morning. Now, I'm sure other people have made savory French toast. I'm sure other... Really? Yes. I'm sure other people have made savory French toast. Okay. But she had a thought. And the thought that she had was fantastic. And then she created it. Okay. So the goal here is if... A, you don't like the circumstances you're in, you don't like what, where your family's at, your income, your health, whatever. Have another thought. <laughs> you're laughing. I mean, th literally, th what? Right. Think another thought, right? Okay. Read new things, come up with new thoughts. She wanted to try something, and she did a fantastic job. It was absolutely delicious, darling. You're stuck? Bye. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, be willing to create. Creation always solves problems. Always. Creation always solves problems. Period. End of story. You can, you can create your way out of a difficult situation if you can overcome your fear and you can master the anxiety. Let me repeat that. Creation, or at least let me repeat the, the concept, right? If you are creative in any way, shape, or form, you can overcome fear if you can master your anxiety. You can overcome the situation and you can get yourself out of it. And I believe you can, because I've had to. So, anyhow, listen. God bless you. I'm going to send you on your way. If you're interested in something cool to read, it's, it gets into the weeds sometimes, but, you know, 432 Hertz music is, is kind of cool. Um, or watch the video on Chef Dad, Chef Kid, and 
figure out how to make some savory French toast because they're freaking amazing. All right, Father, in the name of Jesus, bless the moms and dads and kids that watch these videos. Encourage them, strengthen them. Make them even more united in their families. Give them creative, witty ideas, new inventions, new creativity. Help elevate them in their circumstances. In Jesus' name, amen. Be well, take care, we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.